welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, you guys probably see me from time to time with these uh, little portables the Texan PL368 and the uh, County Com GP7 SSB they're the same radio once again uh, County Com is just distributed by County Com in the United States uh, and of course Texan is Texan so you can get it from a non-co for example um, one of the things that I got asked is, I see you quite a lot with those, so there must be something that you like. Well, you know what, There's some, I kind of find it interesting, the form factor that is kind of walkie-talkie style. Not too big, more on the long side. But what attracts me mostly is the ETM functionality. The easy tuning mode is uh, something that, you know, I always thought was a gimmick at the first, but no, it's not definitely something that every radio needs to have it's the ability to scan the international broadcast bands and put in a temporary memory channel uh, each station that it receives and the scan is quite fast and it's quite good pretty sensitive so for a quick scan anywhere you want to know if you're getting something uh, these radios are great um, like the Texan PL330 same thing and yep there is similarities. Um, <clears throat> I would say that part of the um, part of the uh, the feel of when you tune the uh, these radios is that uh, they probably share very similar yet different form factor circuits than the PL330, which is also a great little radio with a great ETM scan also. So it's mostly that, and they're very sensitive. They're pretty good. The sound, the audio quality is okay. You know, good enough for, for easy listening. So I kind of use them for that. Uh, the other question I got is, should I get a Connie Com or a Texan PL368? What what makes a difference? If you're in the US, I would get the Conti Com for a very simple reason, is that you're buying it from a US um, distributor that actually has great service. So if you have to return it for any reason, if something's wrong, you're, you know, it's easy. Um, buying it from an outside source like a Nonco, a Nonco is really great at uh, service also, but sometimes it's not as easy when you buy it from, you know, outside of the U.S. It's the same for, you know, people who say, well, buy Sea Crane, you can easily return it. Yeah, if you're in the U.S., but if you're in Europe, Sea Crane is as crappy of a return as buying a Chinese radio and returning it to China. Uh, and that people don't understand. They kind of are in their little world, and they don't understand that. Yeah, but outside your country, it's as crappy to return a sea grain than to return anything else. So you gotta understand that's the positive point of buying in your own country. It's like buying radios on Amazon. If you get a decent price, I will often favor Amazon because it's easier for returns. It's easier when something happens than if you buy it on eBay. You know, it's, it's the same thing. But um, definitely in the U.S. I would buy the Conicom. There's really not that much of a difference in price, honestly, between the Chinese Texan PL368 and the Countycom, which is also a Texan radio, but um, it is branded for Countycom. Countycom gives you a nice sturdy antenna, which is a uh, stainless steel antenna also, which is cool. They have replaceable antennas that work also for the PL368. But yeah, there's something about these radios that I just like, and I, uh, I use them a lot. Um, you know, if I had to go in order of which radios, and I was thinking maybe tomorrow do kind of a top 10 radios I use and give the reasons why I choose them. Um, I think that would be maybe some, uh, something nice for you guys, because I always get, you know, so what's your new top 10? What's your new top 10? Well, um, I'll, I'll give probably tomorrow, I'll give my top 10, so you'll see 10 radios. And I'll give the reason why I uh, like it and I use it. Um, you know, I've got a lot of comments of, well, you know, that's your personal opinion. Partly personal opinion, but mostly using them and comparing them. It's much more than a personal opinion, what I say here. And yes, like uh, I saw one of the comments today. It's like, of course, um, you know, when you buy something, check different reviewers. Don't just look at my review. Uh, you might find something that some other reviewer is going to say that turns you on or off from a certain receiver. But, uh, yeah, I definitely kind of uh, like and use regularly the uh, these little portables, the uh, County Common, the Texan uh, PL368. They're kind of cool. 
And uh, there's something about the form factor I like, and mostly the ETM scan and their single sideband tuning is kind of nice. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.